Hello and welcome, I'm your Kudmaki. And if you need anything, there's a ton of really awesome bundles happening right now. Pretty much all of these are 98% off. So if you need anything, then now is a great time to get it. Starting with this one, if you want to learn how to create game art in Blender. This contains a bunch of courses made by GameDevTV. They always have great courses, so if you want to learn about Blender, you can learn a lot from this. You've got courses on making low-poly characters, making low-poly landscapes, sculpting a dragon, doing a bunch of painting. It even has a course on visual effects, one on animation, simulation, and so on. Personally, I went through this one, the Complete Blender course, and I really enjoyed it. Or if instead of making your own assets, you really just want to use pre-made assets. If so, there's an excellent Cinti bundle right now. This one has tons of packs, so this is worth over a thousand bucks, and you can get it for just 25 bucks. You've got so many packs to be able to make so many games. So you can make medieval stuff, you can make World War I stuff, you can make zombie games, gang games, racing games with cars, apocalypse, and so on. And if you want one of their packs that is not included in the bundle, they're also having a sale on their store, up to 30% off, including their latest packs. They've got lots of awesome stuff, and actually recently they started making something different. They started making some interface and animation packs. These are all super high quality. And speaking of animation, there is another bundle, this one full of animation stuff. Again, you've got hundreds of animations, 98% off, just 25 bucks. You've got rifle animations, first person animations, even things that have nothing to do with combat like Office, Park Life and so on. Technically these packs, they say they are for Unreal Engine, but animations are very much engine agnostic. So for these ones, the ones from MoCamp Online, they include the .fbx files directly inside it so you don't have to do anything. And for these other ones from Maxim, for these you can import them into an empty Unreal project and then export them as a normal FBX. By the way, this Rifle Pro pack, this is the one that I use in my third person shooter tutorial. So I highly recommend this one, really excellent animations. Or if instead of assets you perform more systems and complete projects, there's this bundle. This one just started and it has a whole bunch of very interesting tools and assets. This one has quite a lot of variety, so you've got engines for making arcade games. So you've got engines for making adult games or a city builder. You've got a casual GUI pack. You've got some RPG crafting resources. You even have some low poly animated dinosaurs. There's a bunch more complete projects, some lasers, colors, and so on. So tons of stuff. Again, this one is worth 1500 bucks and you can get it for 30 bucks. Or finally, if you want super high quality realistic assets, there's also this bundle. You've got a ton of realistic stuff, all super high quality. I love this publisher. You've got some gorgeous cathedrals, some sci-fi cyberpunk environments. You've got them in realistic and stylized. Then even a whole bunch of sound effects and a bunch of very interesting vehicles. Now keep in mind how for this one, there are some packs that are Unreal and Unity, like this one, but some other packs that say Unreal only. So for these ones, again, meshes are very much engine agnostic. So you can definitely pick up these meshes and textures and use them in Unity, but I believe these come with controllers and that is the one thing you cannot port. But either way, if you want lots of visuals, this one can be really great. So really, if there's anything you need right now from visuals to tools, assets and so on, then definitely check it out. A bunch of these bundles are ending really soon, like this one in just three days. So check it out and see if anything might help you in whatever project you're currently working on. The links in the description are filmed links, so if you pick up anything through there, you get some awesome assets and you help support the channel. Now on to the top 20 new visual assets list. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome visual stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for September 24. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all the kinds of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid asset effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the asset in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Alright, so starting off with a really impressive eye shader. This is an insanely detailed shader. It's got so many layers for each eye. All of them look really nice, really realistic, really interesting. It comes with 50 presets and 50 custom eye textures. Everything from some really human realistic ones. There's also some alien ones, some evil ones, and a bunch more. Or if you're more into the medieval theme, then here's a gorgeous realistic banded village. It's got over 200 super high quality meshes, both interiors and exteriors. There's lots of wood everywhere. So I imagine this would be perfect for some kind of Vikings game. Then if you're making a medieval game, you probably have swords. So here's a nice sword animation pack. This one is the latest Sinti animation pack. It's got some really nice animations. All of them are super fluid. There's over 100 animations, so plenty of heavy and light attacks. There's some blocks, jumps, and even some really dramatic deaths. Then if you want to polish your UI, here are some nice effects. The UI is definitely something that a lot of people forget about. So if you take the time to add polish to your UI, it can definitely help your game stand out. This one features quite a lot of really nice effects. It's not just super basic stuff. It comes with a bunch of VFX textures and lots of settings to get it looking exactly as you want it. 
Then for something really chill and nice, here is a cartoony Border Collie. It's a really nice model, so this would be perfect for any kind of Collie game. It comes with over 100 animations, and all of them are really well made, so I could see this being used as a companion for your main character, or simply use it to populate your world with some nice dogs running around. And if you like this style, then this dev has a ton more animal packs. Dogs, cats, bears, cows, and tons more. Then if you want a simple, realistic environment, here is a studio apartment interior. Although, even though the assets are in a very realistic art style, I'm not actually sure just how realistic this is. This looks really super nice. Definitely nothing like how I used to live when I was a student. This could be the house for your main character. You could make this bright and happy with some lights, or perhaps make it a horror level with some really intense darkness. Next, for some VFX, here is an awesome pack. These look really great, I really like it. It's perfect for any game that has some kind of magic projectiles. Some of these would be really perfect in a Dragon Ball game, or perhaps just a strange meteor in space falling down to Earth, or simply just some fancy bullets in a game, kind of like Enter the Gungeon. Then here's the latest Sinti pack. This one is all about ancient Egypt. Gorgeous assets as usual. This being Egypt, there are lots of statues, lots of rugs, some fancy clothes, and even some curved swords. There's also some spooky catacombs, and I'm guessing it also has a bunch of mummies. It's a huge pack with almost 900 prefabs. A lot of it is compatible with their Ancient Empires pack, which has a bit of a more Greek theme. So if you'd like to make your own Assassin's Creed Origins, then this would be a really great pack. And next, for some fun effect, here is some swelling. You can just take a character and make it blow up like a balloon. Back in the day, when I was a kid, there were a lot of games that had a big head mode. That was really popular at the time although nowadays it's really not so much. So this looks like a really fun, easy way to achieve that effect. Could be a great easter egg in your game. You can blow up the entire mesh or just individual body parts, like just blowing up the head or even just the eyes. With this, you could make some kind of blade game, like that part where he hits the vampires with the serum and they swell up until they blow up. Next, for some really fun stylized towers, here's a great pack. I love how this one looks. I love the clean white color with the cell shade look. It looks really nice. You've got two tower bases and nine unique guns for a total of 18 combinations. This could be perfect on a space game for adding guns to your ships. So maybe something like FTL where you can actually build your own ship. Or perhaps put this on a tower defense game for defending your base. Then for some 2D, here is a pixel art castle. Right away, this reminds me of Terraria. I have to say that's one game that I would love to make someday, making a 2D side-scroller combat building dinging game. I really enjoyed my time playing Terraria all those years ago, maybe I should try it again. This one includes a ton of tiles to build your entire world. You've got castle tiles, there's water, mud, poison, lava, and a ton more. Next, for some magic shields, here is a great pack. It's got plenty of really good looking effects. Some are pretty basic and some are very complex. These could be buffs or debuffs in your game. Maybe it could be something like a fire protection effect or an offensive attack to put the enemy engulfed in flames. If you like this style, then this app has tons more of other VFX packs. And if you want to make some destruction, look at this pack. I've previously covered how to do basic destruction in a tutorial. And essentially the way you do it is you can have your object in two states, so normal and broken. Then when the player destroys something like a pot, when it does that, simply spawn the broken pieces, apply some physics, so they all go flying around. So in order to make simple destruction work, you really just need exactly this. You need something fixed and something broken. This one includes lots of breakable objects, over 70 pots, 20 barrels, boxes, and a bunch more. So these are really great to easily populate your world with stuff for the player to break, which is always super satisfying. Then for an interesting animation pack, here is one with negative emotions. Definitely a niche animation pack. There are some animations that are essentially trembling with rage. There are some wiping tears from their eyes, some covering their eyes, walking back in fear, and a bunch more. Definitely quite a strange pack. Maybe this would be great on some kind of horror game. Then if you want some gems, here's a nice pack. It's got lots of gem nodes. They can spawn some tiny pieces or break apart into chunks. I can immediately imagine this being used in some kind of survival crafting game. Something like Valheim, where the player goes out and mines for resources. Or you could use this in some kind of RTS game where your units gather resources. You've got plenty of colors and gem styles to represent whatever resources your game has. Next, for something quite a bit more spooky and hardcore, here is a Death Knight. It's a really awesome looking model. Excellent armor, very sinister. I really like the model. This one has a giant sword and a skull on the chest. So this could either be your player in some kind of really dark game, or perhaps just a scary boss. Then if you need some realistic fire, look at this one. It includes 30 prefabs with really realistic VFX. The fire looks really real. There are some static ones, some following a trail, or perhaps a fireball. So these could be either environments, or perhaps even some attacks. 
Or if you need some characters, look at this medieval soldiers pack. Really nice models. These could be perfect for pretty much any kind of medieval game. So some like Skyrim or some like Elden Ring. It features five characters that you can use to populate your world. Next for some effects, here is a nice hologram. It's a really nice effect with tons of options. You can make it simple or make it glitchy. You can change the color, the waves and so on. So very customizable. Then if you're making a ship game, here's a bunch of nice Japanese ships. They look really nice. I love the colors shown on the video. I don't really know anything about boats, but I do know these look really nice and quite varied. Alright, so those are my top 20 new visual assets on the Unity Asset Store for September 24. There's links in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.